Do you remember? Rose Tyler. 2005. Tell you what. I bet you're gonna have a really great year. The very first word I ever said to you. Trapped in that cellar. It's one of my short window dummies. Such a long time ago. To your hand. I said one word. Just one word I said. Run! Run! If you are an alien, how come you sound like you're from the north? Lots of planets have a north. Why are you Scottish? It's Scottish, I'm just cross. Is there Scotland in space? They're half the place, demanding independence from every planet that they land on. According to Convention 15 of the Shadow Proclamation. According to Article 15 of the Shadow Proclamation. What about the people? It's empty. They've all gone. No one left. Earth was evacuated. But there were a number of ships. I bumped into a few of them over the years. The paper's slightly psychic. It shows them whatever I want them to see. It saves a lot of time. It's just a lot of wavy lines. Nothing? Weird. Might need a blow dry. The Lady, Cassandra O'Brien, got Delta 17. Go on, Jimbo. Go home. Strictly speaking, it's the 15th one who watches the original. That makes it new, 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 new. Professor Helen Clay, University of New Earth, year 5 billion and 12. Please welcome the face of Bo. You are not alone. The face of Bo, they call me. Right then, before you get me back in that box, chips it is and you can pay. No money. That was our first game. We had chips. Do you want to go and get some coffee or chips or something or chips and coffee? Dickens. <laughs> yes. Charles Dickens. Yes, the Charles Dickens. Should only move the gentleman, sir. And special. And can you tell us anything about it? Well, all I can say now is that it involves ghosts of the past, and the present, and the future, all at the same time. The things you see, the darkness, the big battle. Tell me, Gwen Cooper, are you from an old Cardiff family? Yes, all the way back to the 1800s. Harriet Jones, MP for Flydale North. Why is she on the telly? Prime Minister now. Who's the president now? The woman called Harriet Jones. Who is that? Harriet Jones, former Prime Minister. Who um, are Who's the Prime Minister? I, I beg your pardon. Margaret Thatcher. Oh. Harriet Jones. Hey, come on. Wilson, either. Second week. I had to cover. Like nothing on Earth. It's alien. Or is it a space pig? Space pig. We are the Slavine. Slavine. I'm not a Slavine. Is it me or is he a bit Slavine? I was born on the twin planet! What's the twin planet? Right to Korokafalopatori? Clon! Must have fallen through time, the only survivor. You talked about a war? The time war. The final battle. He was the doctor who formed in the time war, and that was the day he did it. The day I did it. The day he killed them all. Still, at least I won't get pregnant. You're never doing that again. The fourth great and bountiful human empire. That is the second great and bountiful human empire. Could we go and see my dad when he was still alive? How in our world when my dad's still alive? 
feet, Tyler. I knew you when you were dead. Who is this? Who's speaking? Are you my mummy? Latest firing stock. What do you think, Doctor? Are you my mummy? I'm so pleased to finally see you. I'm the Doctor and I will be your victim this evening. Are you my mummy? I'm Jack Harkness. On the morning of January the 21st, 1941, Captain Jack Harkness failed to report to the duty. Captain Jack Harkness. Captain Jack Harkness. Captain Jack Harkness at your service. In the dock we go way back. Nanogenes, subatomic robots. The air in here is full of them. Oh, they are coming for me always. The nanogenes. Ah. Will it work? No idea. But I once towed your planet halfway across the universe with this TARDIS and turned a slithering back into an egg. Can't open it. Got a deadlock seal. Oh, we can get through the window. Deadlock the building. Deadlock sealed. The great cobalt pyramid is built on the remains of which famous old Earth Institute? The touchdown. No, Torchwood. <laughs> I'd like to welcome you, Doctor. Welcome to Torchwood. Have a good life. Do that for me, Rose. Have a fantastic life. You can't just drop me off at my house and say goodbye like we shared a cab. What's the alternative? Me standing over your grave. They've great lives. I'll do it! Yourself, Doctor. Exactly. It's not just me, it's him. Do that. Coward. Any day. Nothing wrong with that. I want to save the universe with a big yellow truck. I am the bad wolf. Dalek old strand and this translates as bad wolf. Hey. <laughs> Two words. What two words? What were they? What did she say? Bad wolf. I'm whore. Bad wolf. I met the Emperor. And I took the time vortex and poured it into his head and turned him into dust. Do you get that? God of all Dalek. And I destroyed him. Then why do you keep coming back for us? Because you were the first. The first face this face saw. And you were sealed onto my hearts. Tell me what's going on. I absorbed all the energy of the time vortex, and no one's meant to do that. <laughs> Every cell in my body's dying. Even if I change, it feels like dying. There's this moment when you're sure you're about to die. Why can't you do something? Yeah, I'm doing it now. Time Lords have this little trick. It's sort of a way of cheating death. Except... It means I'm gonna change. And before I go... Don't say that! Rose. Before I go, I just want to tell you, you are fantastic. Fantastic. I'm the cyber planner. Absolutely fantastic. And you know what? So was I.